All right, guys. Thank you for joining me again. I hope my mic is on and working. It's working. All right. You are in the Love Life Studios. This is the back room where I have all my advisors work with me, talk to me, advise me on what we're going to do. As you see up there, we usually put everything on the board, what we're working on. Always got tons of pro projects to do. Listen, I've seen a lot of things going on. People talking about content they're making for the algorithm or not making for the algorithm. Do what you want to do. I don't believe in none of that. Everything's made for the algorithm. That's how people will view your content. No matter what, these people are still going to post for the algorithm. So don't listen to that. I got a good video coming up here. Please do subscribe to the channel. Like, comment, everything. Do it all. Had a really good week on vacation. If you've seen some of my live streams, Ocean City. Ocean City. Great time. We had like over 26,000 views the one night. It was pretty cool. I have a special a special delivery. It came in. It's an unlisted company. So that means that they're not, they're not producing products. They're not selling anything. They gave the opportunity to me to try out some of their products that they're trying to roll out for people to buy. We're going to go over them. Sinking pellets, smaller, smaller sinking pellets, color enhancing, high protein. See, look, they sent us in these uh, certified posted shipping bags. Do not rip for any reason unless you have a cat. Spirulina sinking pellets. I think this is going to hit big. We are going to test out every one of these products. We're going to see what fish like it or don't like it. The algae wafers, I think, are going to hit home. Oh, they all have their own different smells, too. The high protein crisp chips. I think we have another bag of cichlid flakes. Just no name on it. We're just going to try with all of them. Which ones hit, which ones don't. I'll put it on video. Let's run with this right here. <laughs> here, looky here, looky here. With different types of cichlids in here all over the place. I'm going to try the algae wafers first. Everyone likes algae wafers. Oh, he gulped every single one of them. Look at him. Waru. Well, Waru took a bite, but he didn't like it. You can see they're going crazy. Catfish don't care. Waru did not like it. All right, next up, we're going to try this spirulina sinking pellet. Let me see. Oh, oh, yep. Oh, he spit it out again. Awaru is spitting out the spirulina. Spirulina is a little bit of a, is a shaky one. Algae wafers, so that went good for some of them. High protein sinking pellet. Let's see what happens here. So he actually took, oh, he spit that too. Uwaru does not like the products. The catfish likes some of it. Oscar likes some of it. Severum are eating it. I'm just watching. Sendantis, no good. Oh, it's Silver Dollar. Yeah, Silver Dollar is taking it. My analysis is that cichlids like everything because they're eating it all. Multiple cichlids have went for all the three things that we've tried so far, spirulina, color enhancing high protein, and the algae wafers. I can do the flakes. Let's do the flakes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Non-stop on the cichlid flake. Uwaru. Yes. He found his little taste. And so does everybody else. It's good to see that. Good to see that everyone went after all the products that I've put in. Moving on. All right. Now, we are in front of the 180 gallon. As you see, we have a bunch of fish in here. So it's going to be hard to keep track. I'm going to kind of keep you guys zoomed in. I like the audience to let me know if you see someone that takes care of something more than others. 
Spiralina sinking pellet. Be the name of them. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, they're going for it. Oh yeah. Oh, color enhancing tank. Floating pellet. Yes, everyone. Everyone. Starry night. All the Severums. Two for two. Let's drop it. Let's drop a couple algae wafers in there. Let's see. Let's see if our pleco goes after it. Oh, they're going after it. Oh, they made it to the bottom. Now the pleco is down there. Oh, he's eating it. He is eating it. Other than that, it got murdered. They're eating it right now. Look, they're eating it. I can't even show you. Green Terror. In fact, they're going to work on it. Unbelievable. That's good. That's a good thing. The Cichlid Flakes. No hesitation. Is there anything that they won't eat? Let's do color enhancing high protein sinking pellets. We're just giving them a little bit of everything. And they're just the high protein crisp. So far, everything is getting eaten. Is it good for them? Are they enjoying it? Ooh. But he does not like it. Self and Pleco is not fully into the algae pellet. He goes back to it, though. Look, he goes back. He's eating it. We tried everything from this pile over here. Successful. Let's go to the back room and check out what some of those fish like. I love when you guys come back here with me. It's kind of like my little hideaway sanctuary. And I just get to sit back here and interact. With my fish, with my beautiful flagtail Prochilotus, doing so good. People that watch my videos knows how tough it's been to keep one of them alive. Look at my Nano Nose Gar. Just enjoy them. Beautiful. And look at my fire eel. Sorry about the glare, but there's the fire eel right there. There's another one in here as well. They've been eating really well. We got archers the glare sucks back here i want to apologize the archers are in there and the waru are in here as well there's five waru in here oh yeah also down there we have frontosa compressiceps petrocolas i'm not gonna try but it's like a shell dweller that's all i'm gonna leave it at we're gonna start right up here you can see we have jack dempsey's we have blue moscow guppies Pearl cichlid with the cichlid flake. This should be a this should be an easy money once they get to eating it. Yep, look, boom, right here around the top. Let it come down. Bingo. Look, instant. There you go. Let it come down. There it is. Oh yeah, they see it. I gotta clean out some of that horn work. If we go down a little bit, Midas cichlid there. The cream sickle, they're starting to bring some color in. See what they do? Yep. Immediately, they're monsters. A pistogram of Borelli Opal. That's it. I'm going to put a little bit in here. Let that sink. I don't even see them. It's crazy. I don't even see them in there. These are my Turcanian Jewel Cichlids. They should love it. Watch. Boop. Just a little bit. We're not going crazy. Yep. Tearing it up. Look at the colors on them, man. Up here we got the uh, Corbensis. We got some. We got Plecostomus. Super red Plecostomus. Thank you, CS House of Fishkeeping, for the red Plecostomus. They are beautiful. Hopefully, I can get them to breed. And I also have a, a buffalo head cichlid in there too. He comes jumping out. Yep. Look at him. He's nuts. Cribs are all over the place. Some in here hiding. Now we're gonna go back. We're gonna go over here to the blue eyes. Blue eyes cichlids have been hanging inside this cavern over here. So I'm gonna try to get it right down in there. Oh, they don't play. Oop! See? Right away. Come right out. Some of the food come in. I pick on that. Let's see if them will come out. You never know with the ones that hide. So I'm not gonna sit here and watch. We'll come back if they if I catch them eating it. Which I have a beautiful community, which consists of rainbows, barbs, danios, 
and my flag tail partial lotus and tetris here real quick see what happens the danios come right after it immediately the barbs are going up the tetras are eating it as well it looks like rainbows are rainbows are eating it too yeah and mr flagtail proctor lotus is coming over and getting his little share that's one thing that sucks in here there's so much glare did you put the food in yep look Archer goes after it. Waru go after it. Look. Let's see if we can get these guys out. Here come the Frontosa right now. Yep. Shell dollars like it. Don't be scared. Okay. Frontosas coming out. Yep. <laughs> Compressor steps are so shy. I'm going to say a 100% on the cyclic flakes. We can't. I'm not going to put no doubt on that. Let's see if the Waru like the Spiro, Spiralina. Oh. One or, oh, there's two Waru, three Waru are down there eating it. Yep, yep. See if anyone has any, has a want for a Spiralina. Ooh. Jeez. The Danios. Yeah. And the Rainbow. Look, Rainbow made a bite at it. Full. Yes. I throw a few in here and see what happens when they fall down. Yep. Jack Dempsey. Jack Dempsey. Boop. Yep. All that floating around. These pearls. Look. Pearl. Come on. Biting and spit. Up. Oh, nope. Nope. Eating. Eating. Pearls are eating. See if the Midas like it. They're going for it. They're trying. And they lost their train of thought. Okay. So once it sinks, they kind of lose their mind on it. Let me see if I can get her to smack some of this. And there you go. Pop, pop, Yep. She got some. The cichlids. Let's see. Pellets coming down. I know. Okay. Yeah, let's do the high protein sinking. Boom. Yep. Yep. Getting spoiled. Very getting spoiled over here. Let's see. They're right there. Protein sinking pellet for the guppies. Let me see. Making short work. Made short work of them. Let me see if I can get him to eat the high protein. Yep. The pistogramma ate the high protein sinking. I want to know where. Oh, he spit it out. But he's going back at it. I am overheated. So as you see, it's a matter of preference for the fish. We tried a ton of different foods in here. We had a lot of success. We will continue to do all the bags, but I'm not going to do it in one video. So I hope you learn the lesson of this video. Just because it's on a shelf and you go buy it does not mean that the fish will like it or won't like it. You don't know what that fish really likes unless you know about the wild of the fish. Like if you're treating the fish like it's from the wild. They don't eat flakes and pellets in the wild. A lot of stuff worked successfully. All the bags worked on that 180. Everyone ate from all the different varieties. Some of the stuff worked in here. Some of the majority of the stuff worked in the 220. I'm happy I tried it out. I will do like little shorts of trying some of the other ones out. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, Subscribe to the channel and do a comment. Tell me what you feed your fish on a regular basis. Maybe I might want to try what you got. If you ain't reaching for the stars, why are you reaching? I'm out.